Wait, what's that? YouTube's making another questionable decision. <gasps> you don't say. If you guys can't tell, this is not going to be like a normal video where I try to have a fun time. This is going to be a video where I rant a little bit because YouTube, I've, out of the blue, with no history of making dumb decisions regarding YouTube at all, made a dumb decision. So I might be using a little bit stronger language than usual because I'm kind of pissed and I kind of have a little bit of a reason to be pissed, but I'm going to be talking about this new YouTube Heroes program where where anyone has the opportunity of being the flash of YouTube. You can be the Superman going through comment section and making sure that YouTube stays the pure place it should be. But then you realize that this program is fucking stupid and might actually just ruin YouTube. What do I mean by that? Okay, okay, so this Heroes program, right? Anyone can apply for it. There's literally a link you can do like the one of the first things that come up if you search it It like if you search YouTube heroes is this thing so you might be thinking to yourself. Oh, okay So that's not that bad. That means anyone can be this YouTube hero, but it gets worse because YouTube heroes There's a point system where you get to there's different tiers of heroes Right and what's worrying is that in a couple of these tiers there are a couple of really bullshit things that these YouTube heroes can do Especially since anyone can be a YouTube hero Anyone including someone who it might be a normal dude But who has an irrational hate for let's say my channel right and what they can do is be a YouTube hero Right and they can do all this normal YouTube hero stuff and then finally when they get up to the level where they have powers such as mass flagging and removing someone's videos Like they could literally take down a thousand of my videos in one click They could do that. They can remove comments from around the website Okay, so even if like I like there's a certain type of comment that I don't mind in my comments, right? This dude this this hero can come into my comment section and control the shit that goes on there that's bullshit, YouTube. What the fuck? I'm sorry. What are you thinking with this heroes? Anyone can do this and what you're doing is you're giving anyone the ability to censor stuff. Now you've made some iffy decisions in the past, right? Forcing Google Plus onto people. I get you wanted it to be a social network. That kind of makes sense. Not the best implementation. You got the bullshit lately with the monetization and trying to get that. And I kind of understand where you're coming from with the whole monetization thing where like some videos can't be monetized that makes sense because ultimately that's not YouTube's decision YouTube's not the ones paying content creators like me YouTube is simply the mediator between the advertisers and me if the advertisers don't want that shit that does like that's up to them all right I, I don't blame YouTube there it's like a mad decision maybe not the best execution but this I can kind of see the goal they want YouTube to be moderated but this execution is so stupid oh my god youtube literally please get a clue youtube constantly and constantly just makes decisions that like it's like they don't have youtubers in mind with these goddamn decisions they don't talk to us okay except maybe like a couple of the insanely huge youtubers they they don't communicate with us all right when you guys find out about a change is when we find out about a change literally we're we're in the exact same boat you guys are in and that's kind of messed up because with this uh, with this implementation with this idea which i think you can already apply for and i don't even know if it's like where there's already heroes you know clearing the villains out of the comment section but that's just uh, the three things that really got to me is i i think one of the initial things you can do is you can flag videos okay so you can flag videos but i mean anyone can do that anyone can report a video but I think if you're a hero and you report a video, there's a little bit more weight to it and there's a good chance you can actually get it taken down. And even if it's taken down for a little bit, that's a huge hit to someone like me where my videos are like really important to me. Like I'm in college, YouTube is the reason I'm in college. YouTube pays for this. Like YouTube is like if, if, if I run out of YouTube, like I, if I don't know, I, I, I mean, I would just, I, it, I'd have to get a normal job that that'd be life. It would suck. But if I understand if it happens, but it just kind of sucks because I wouldn't be able to have fun. I wouldn't be able to make videos for you guys while also making enough money for me to get through school. Right. 
because ultimately I'm in college right now, first semester actually. Things are going well, and it's a lot of work balancing all my homework, all my activities, and then also fitting YouTube in. It doesn't leave a lot of time for social stuff, but honestly, I don't care. I love making videos that much, and the fact I can make videos and have fun while also being able to support myself through college is insane. Like, sure, not 100% of this is fun. There is stuff like editing, rendering, uploading, descriptions, all that stuff, where it's less on the fun side, but it's a price to pay. But at the end of the day, that, that I digress. I'm babbling there, but... The fact that they get some powers like these is very iffy, where they can flag videos. This is anyone, right? So there's different levels. There's like level 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Level 1, or is it level 0 is like where you have to go through training and stuff. And if you go through training, I, I, I imagine it's not that hard. All you have to do is, like, you could make good decisions up until the point where you get these, like, better powers, such as mass flagging and removing comments. And then you can just kind of abuse those things, you know what I'm saying? And I get YouTube would probably respond to that eventually, but the thing is, YouTube, it, it, it sucks with response times, alright? If, like, if a video gets taken down for copyright, it takes a while to sort that out. Even if it's a false claim, it takes a while to sort that out unless you make a huge controversy over it. Because that's how YouTube works, you know? Because YouTube, they don't have a clear line of communication with us. And that's really something that they should be focusing on first before they focus on bullshit like this heroes, right? Anyways, so some of the powers they have, some of them I kind of I kind of like. I like the ideas, right? So some of the powers they have is you get points for accurately doing subtitles in for subtitling a video. While that does leave the point where those subtitles could be extremely inaccurate and uh, just absolutely awful, I mean, there's it still could be pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I see where they're coming from, and that's a cool implementation and cool way to encourage people and to make more videos more accessible to more languages or potentially people who are deaf and who want to watch a video. And I think that's a really cool implementation. The problem is the way they're implementing it leaves a lot to be desired and i don't i can't think of a better way to implement it off the top of my head but that's like saying hey i have an idea let's implement it shittily like i implementing it shittily i would say is worse than not implementing it at all but that's at least my personal opinion so that's like an okay feature and then stuff like removing comments globally I think that that should be more diverted to where a YouTuber, okay, anyone, they can pick moderators for their channel, and then what goes in the comments is determined to the YouTuber. Like, right now, I could go through videos, I could remove whatever comments I want. I don't know if they actually have a moderator system in place now, they might, um, I haven't messed with that at all. But I think removing comments should definitely be on a channel level, and if there is something like this, it should be up to the channel's discretion who can be the channel's heroes i guess where it's like where heroes are not global to youtube but they are specific to the channel i think that that is a better implementation and a bit more fair because then you can pick people that you know and that you can trust to remove comments instead of maybe one hero goes rogue all of a sudden oh shit there's no comments on any video Woo god damn so i'm kind of heated what can I say? I'm still a little bit sniffly, so hopefully my voice isn't too annoying, but yeah, they can flag individual videos, get those taken down from what, at least from what they're making it sound like. Again, YouTube sucks at communication. It could not be this awful, but YouTube has to work on that communication. This could be, this could be getting blown out of proportion. I do admit that, but the fact is that YouTube in their communication is leaving the opportunity for this to be blown out of proportion. Which you really should not do when you're a company as big as YouTube. And there are thousands, if not tens of thousands, of people whose livelihoods literally rely on this. So, yeah. And then, I already talked about mass flagging a little bit. Where that's just dumb that you give anyone the power to mass take down videos. So, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even... I don't even know where to begin with that, so I'm not. I could go on for way too long with how messed up that is, but giving... It, uh, ultimately, the problem is, is that anyone can become a hero, and anyone could make, build their way up to these powers. Even So you could have a troll who does, who acts like a hero, who acts like a hero, does hero things, but then when he gets to a high enough level, guess what? He's a goddamn double agent, alright? This is some fucking 007 James Bond shit. He's actually a villain. He's gonna stab you in the back, YouTube, and just fuck with people. 
that's where you leave the problem. Do you have a method of combating this? No one knows. No one knows because you didn't say it. You didn't say it. And that's the thing with YouTube. They have these ideas. They have these implementations. But they just they leave too much to be interpreted and when it comes to responding to half of this stuff like when google plus when that was a huge issue took them forever to respond to that shit the monetization thing it took them a couple days or like a week or something to respond to that which is still better but that's still a while and ultimately their response was more like it was like a non-answer you know they didn't really do much with that response they're probably gonna have some sort of bs response with this for all we know or maybe they'll backpedal on it and come back later and honestly i would not mind this program being enabled so long as you get rid of some of the bullshit features it has and not give these people global powers like i'm saying you have heroes for a channel okay so instead of a channel having moderators you can have a channel's moderators be called heroes that'd be cool to get some recognition on the channel and stuff like that but this global stuff listen youtube if you want global shit all right hire these people if you want like currently this is a point system you're taking you're doing this shit for free if you want to be a hero you're doing it for points on the internet that don't mean shit and you're not going to get anything out of it you put youtube heroes on your resume you're just going to get laughed at out the door nobody is going to care i mean on the internet it might look cool and i admit that'd be cool like oh i'm a youtube hero but the fact that you're going to be sinking so much time into this for nothing but a little little internet it's kind of bullshit especially because you have so much power when you're doing this you know i don't know that's my thoughts for it uh if you have any responses go ahead i actually you know comment section down below let me know what you think for real let me know let me know i do want to see what you guys think about this and uh, i'll leave a link to there if you want to sign up god if you want to sign up or also if you do just want to read up on it i will leave a link to that i think this was announced a day or so ago and uh ultimately man ultimately that just leaves this is the censorship people with the last controversy with the monetization controversy people were talking about censorship all right censorship in terms of removing funding removing money that people can get from their videos this is censorship this is crowdsourced censorship i think that's a good way of thinking of it if these people are given the powers that they're they're given and where it's like lower level i think you only need like level two or three for like most of the powers where you can mass flag i think you need like level one or something to remove comments and flag videos that's a lot of power for not a lot of work and that's my rant i want to get my opinions out there because this is ripping me off and it kind of has me worried because if someone really wants to fuck me over as a hero well there goes that, so now I have to stress out about how the hell I'm going to pay for college. I know the answer, it's going to be find a job, then I have to go through finding a job. Realistically, I won't be able to make YouTube videos anymore. Sure, I'd make one every once in a while, but uh, at this point, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, you're just crying because you couldn't make YouTube videos and make money anymore. Yeah, kind of, but ultimately, I love making YouTube videos, but if, if I can't support myself through it, I just could not spend... I could not put time into this. how packed my schedule is because I'm going for computer science. I have to do a lot of shit in my time. I'm not doing that to complain. I'm simply doing that as a matter of fact. So personally, what this could mean to me is just awful. But I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, maybe if you want, maybe make a reply video. You know, I wouldn't mind watching some of those and seeing what you guys have to think. But other than that, that's going to do it for me. Arc video coming probably over the weekend. Saw some of you guys commenting over that. Uh, Frankie fans, I, it was a joke. Chill. Okay. And uh, yeah, bullshit aside, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you like my thoughts. And hopefully you guys like videos like this because I would not mind making videos like this when there's some shenanigans in the community. But uh, other than that, that's going to do it for me. I wish all of you a fan-freaking-tastic day on this fine day. And, uh, yeah, stay warm. Winter's coming. I'm staying warm by the heat. You know, the heatedness from this has got me heated. It's keeping me warm. But, uh, yeah, other than that, soon do for me. All of you guys have a fan freaking fantastic day, and I will see you in either the next normal video, the next rant video, or never, because you hate me and you don't want to watch my videos anymore. In which case, I don't blame you. I hate me too sometimes. Anyways, have a good one. See you guys.